A lot of times minimalism means just walking in the opposite direction of everybody else and getting out of that whole consumeristic, materialistic mindset. And while there are a lot of struggles, there are also a ton of benefits that come out of it. And that's what I wanted to share. Some of the benefits that I have felt in my life over the past year and a half that I have been on this minimalist journey. Cleaning. I think this has been amazing. I hate cleaning. I don't know about you. I'm a wicked messy person. That's a problem as well. But as I've had less stuff and then the stuff that I do have all has a place where it goes, it's just so much quicker to clean like everything all the time. It's amazing. Like cleaning the living room and the kitchen is never more than five minutes, which is beautiful. You don't have to take half a Saturday just to reorganize your house and get it back together because it's just kind of always organized. I realize I don't have kids and stuff yet, but even before when it was just me and I was uh, not a minimalist yet, my house is just a wreck all the time. So it's different for everybody, uh, but this is one of the huge benefits that I've felt. It's just a clean, nice environment all the time. And you don't have to worry about like, you know, constantly trying to just make the house look presentable, which leads into the next one. I don't worry if people come over. I used to worry about that because the house is always a wreck. People can walk into the door pretty much any time that I'm not filming. Please no one walk in. And I don't really mind because the house always looks, you know, generally pretty good. It's not always perfect, but generally it's, it's not like an embarrassment when people walk in on you. Uh, and that's always something that I worried about before because uh, like I said, my house was a wreck. So that's something that I really, really liked is you can be more hospitable when your house like looks presentable. <laughs> Mental clarity. Mental clarity is definitely one of the biggest benefits that I've noticed for minimalism, especially as you start to go through your stuff and declutter, you realize that all your possessions take up at least a little bit of space in your mind. And you don't only own them physically, you own them mentally. And as you get rid of more and more stuff, you have less stuff to worry about. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to see it, deal with it. You just have less stuff in your life. You actually gain more mental clarity. And this also goes along with digital minimalism, where as you spend less time looking at screens or taking in information, you really start to feel that your mind like almost works a little bit better and is a little bit smoother because I don't think we're really meant to take in as much information as we do with seeing, you know, thousands of ads every day, just always have that instant gratification of pulling down your newsfeed and seeing that refresh and you get those little dopamine highs and you have all this stuff coming into your brain. I think as we get less and less of that, we have more and more clarity and focus on the things that are actually happening in and around our bodies and in our physical lives that are actually around us and not worrying about what everybody else is doing all across the world. By the way, let me know what benefits you guys have felt from minimalism down in the comments. And if you're enjoying this, don't forget to subscribe. Better health. This is kind of broad, but it seems like a lot of the people I've talked to, and I know uh, definitely for myself, after I went through and I decluttered a bunch of stuff, I started to look at what do I want my life to look like as I started to live more intentionally. And I wanna feel good, I wanna feel better, and I wanna be healthier, I wanna feel strong and confident. And that means different things to different people, but generally one of the benefits of minimalism is that you have more time and more mental focus and clarity to, to narrow down on those things that are going to make you a better person. So whether that's reading, which is going to benefit you a ton of different ways or taking time like I've been doing to exercise more and really being focused and aware of what I'm buying and what I'm putting into my body, um, you know, cooking better meals that are healthier and then you just feel better all the time. All those little things that you do as you start to be conscious about what you're cooking, um, how you're spending your time, it has big impacts on you. And as Prince Humperdinck said, if you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. Was that Prince Humperdinck? Who was that? Anyways, there's no need to show off. I think as you go down this minimalist journey and you start looking at everything in your life as what's gonna be right for me, it doesn't matter if my, you know, my neighbor has a brand new Tesla, I need a Honda Civic. So what's best for me? And you make that decision in every area of your life and you start to not worry about keeping up with your friends, keeping up with everybody else, having the newest phone, having the newest, you know, everything, watching the newest shows. You don't have to do that because you're focused on what is important for me. And that is extremely freeing and goes right into the next one, which I think it really builds confidence in yourself where you're 
self-worth and your sense of self is not tied up in your possessions, which mine totally used to be. It would all be like, what am I wearing? Because what will people think about me if I wear this? What will people think about me while I'm driving this? You know, will people be impressed when they see my house? Once you get away from all that and you're just okay with being you, uh, it builds a lot of confidence where you know that you're making the right decisions for you and that's the best that you can do and you, you know, kind of accepted that. I think that's really helped build my confidence, especially over the past couple years. More money, less problems. I'm sure at some point having more money uh, equals more problems, but for me, having more money has equaled less problems um, because I've spent way less money uh, between being really frugal and then minimalism on top of that. I've had so much less stress in my life when you don't have to worry uh, you know, about bills as much because you've narrowed them down to what's truly essential. I've been able to leave my job because of that, start investing and build some passive income streams, all because I had that freedom and I started saving up money that I was able to invest because I wasn't wasting it on stuff that doesn't matter. I wasn't buying stuff uh, like, you know, like the saying things from Fight Club that you, you know, you buy stuff with money you don't have to impress people you don't even like when you don't need to impress people and you really try to avoid having things that you don't need and use every day. It becomes super simple and you almost guaranteed to save money even if you're buying less stuff that's better and maybe a little bit more expensive. Like just spending like 27 bucks a day, I believe it was, you can waste $10,000 in a year and that's really easy to do if you're going out to eat all the time and you're buying clothes all the time and uh, doing the normal thing that most people are doing when you stop following the crowd and you just walk the other direction money just starts like pouring in and now you've got an emergency fund now you've got an investment fund now you're saving up for your first house and maybe after that you're you're looking at quitting your job because you've had time to start a side hustle there's just so many ripple effects that come of years of good spending habits and I really noticed that as a huge benefit of minimalism. More time and more freedom. As I've learned to say no to a bunch of different stuff and really focus on designing my lifestyle around what I want to be doing every single day, I've noticed I have a lot more time. Some of that can just be, you know, most people look at their phones like five hours a day. If you cut that down to half, now you have an extra two and a half hours a day to do whatever you want. And when you start to design your whole lifestyle around what do I want to do? Have I always wanted to start a business or get into painting or play guitar or do different things? Well, now you actually have time when you cut out a bunch of that non-essential stuff. And if you're saving more money and you don't have to work overtime or you don't have to work even full time maybe, well, now you have even more time. So all these things definitely work together and that's just been something that I really like to have that freedom of, hey, can you help me move or are you free this week? It's kind of like a joke right now with me where it's like, hey, I have uh, something next Thursday, but besides that, I'm free if you wanna do anything. It's like kind of like what I'm doing because I've designed my lifestyle to be where I do have to work still doing YouTube and stuff because I like doing it, but I could do it whenever and wherever as long as I get my certain amount done. So it gives me an insane amount of freedom to do the things that I wanna do and be there for people or, or you know, not work all the time or travel or whatever. You avoid decision fatigue. I think that's one of the things I really like is I've tried to narrow down all of my decisions as much as possible so that I have the mental like capacity for the big decisions that do matter. I've tried to kind of eliminate the other stuff by I have a morning routine. So every morning I do the exact same thing and I don't have to think about anything for like the first hour of my day. I don't have to worry about what I'm going to wear because all of my shirts match each other and all of my pants match all of my shirts. And I only have like two pairs of shoes that I wear. I wear sneakers if I'm going to work out and pretty much uh, like my minimal sandals the other times and that's pretty much it. So I've tried to eliminate as many decisions as possible so that I can focus all my energy on the things that I actually do want to do and the decisions that I do have to make. So that was pretty much my list. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next week.